Hi, I'm McStud. I'm Mrs. McStud. You caught me just in time. We got this resident frog in the house that keeps popping yeah. up in places. Your ass. What? Yeah. What about stop staring at my ass? No. That residential you some frog ass. is your ass. That is not true. Mrs. McStud is telling lies. I never had sexual relations with that frog. <sighs> Anyways, what's up, motherfuckers? It's Thursday. Happy Malt Liquor Thursday. Oh, and what a Thursday it's been. Hasn't it, Miss McStud? It's, it's like, Thursdays are like second Mondays. I was thinking about that earlier. Pretty fucking ridiculous. Like, I hate Mondays and I hate Thursdays. Mmm, Colt 45. Put it up there, Miss McStud. Get it in there. Yeah, it's fucking, yes, yes. Oh, shove it in. Mickey's pretend, works every time. Pretend we're fisting each other. No. Remember that one time when like we spit on each other's hands and You're we just disgusting. like ass fucked each other with our fists? Are you done? No. Okay. Malt liquor. God damn. They're strong bottles. If you break this bottle ever, I'm gonna hit you Actually, with a broken glass. Uh what would happen first is this bottle would shut out before that one would. That one's tighter and compact. This one's much more vast. I realize and more that. susceptible to breaking. I'm good with science. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> I just want to reiterate what Ms. McStead just said. I get it. I'm good with science. Yeah. Let's get to some facts of the world. What does that have to do with anything? I was going to say some facts instead of this fictional bullshit. I better stop on ahead or I'm going to get clubbed with that fucking Mickey. I'm going <laughs> to make your fucking stomach hurt like your bag. Well, that's fucked up. What uh, you guys don't know, <clears throat> back's a little jacked up from a uh, previous injury several years ago. So yesterday was rough. Yeah, walking around here like a fucking 85 year old grandpa. Yeah. I, he left me at work and then come back and he can't fucking move. Looked like I took a pounding from a four foot two by four. I mean, I almost had him stop at Walmart so I could buy him a fucking cane. Dick still works. My liquor. So anyway, Today's big news. Do you watch Empire, Miss McStud? I've been seeing that guy all over, and I have no idea where the fuck that. Do you watch I, Empire? Is that a show? Yes, it's a TV show. Okay, no. One of the so one not. a local rapper from Indianapolis actually got on the show for a small section of the scene at one point <sighs> last season. Stupid now. Um. Well, I never watched it myself. I thought that that was that guy's nickname, or something. Empire. Yeah. Oh no, it's the show. Oh. I'm not sure <coughs> what his character is on the show, but as a lot of you know, he was said he was uh, beaten. Here's the thing: he was outside. He was downtown, like in Chicago at 2 a.m. Celebrity walking home in Chicago at 2 a.m. Had plenty of money to pay for a ride. So what happened to him? He said he got beaten by two guys, <coughs> and they hung a noose around his neck. Filed a police report. However, you look at the picture of his face, the beating was not that severe. And quite frankly, I wouldn't call that a beating. It, it, it looked pretty suspect in the mugshot. And people are, are angry that, like, one, he's a gay male and he's black. Okay, I read some of this. And he tried to play this whole fucking scheme. Basically, what happened was he had some issues with the show, I believe. And salary, or I, I can't remember the whole fucking story, but he hired, he paid thirty five hundred dollars to hire two guy brothers to do this. To him. Yes, which the beating was very poor. For thirty five hundred bucks, I paid to beat my ass, beat my ass. Secondly, what proves my point for the first part, he's a celebrity walking home in Chicago at two in the morning. He spent thirty five hundred bucks on these two guys to beat his ass when he could just got a ride. I mean, that, that was a dumb, the whole story just didn't hold up from the beginning. So, yeah. at the end of the day, he's fucking retarded. 
And not only that, he makes real victims look questionable when real people do have the shit. So did he actually come out and say that? He, I, I, don't, to, I don't uh, think he's actually, he, he was bitching about it yesterday, but today he went in for court and was arraigned, I guess, or sentenced, whatever the fuck it was, for falsifying a police report. Did he get a good sentencing? I don't know exactly what happened. I haven't read the whole thing. I just know it was on the news today, and he's walking out of jail. He, I think he got bailed out. I, I don't know. It's fucking ridiculous. And that, people, is how easy it is to start hate in America. Right there. You can walk down the street and start hate. Well, he made it public. Well, got yeah. publicity out of it. And made a huge fucking ordeal about it. Turns out he's a fraud. <laughs> you know, and there's... Other people out there. So this shit really does happen to. And now they're going to get questioned. Like, did that really happen? Can you prove it? Did you pay? He, that, they didn't do that to you. This is... Mm-hmm. This is what people are doing now to fucking get attention. So, fuck you. His name's Jesse. Jesse Smollett or something. Yeah, Smollett, you yeah. know. But it looks more like Jussie, which rhymes with pussy. Which, Jussie is a pussy. So that's today in McStud News. Also, today was the uh, slow roll for semis around I-465 in Indianapolis. Did you see on that that they had extra police patrol... Yeah. Um, because they can't still, I mean, they still have to go within reasonable speed and they can't block both lanes or they would be fine for impeding traffic. Yeah. Actually, I don't think there is a minimum speed limit on 465. Mm-hmm. I've never, is there a minimum speed limit sign? I don't know if there's a sign, but the, the article said that it was between 45 and 50. I would have to research that. I, well, we don't travel very often. Now I know when I'm driving through Ohio on the interstate, I forget what interstate it is, it might be 70 in Ohio, there is a minimum 40 mile per hour speed limit sign driving through there, but there's actually signs that tell you if you're driving under 40, get the fuck off the interstate. I'm not Basically. sure, um, there was two things that semis couldn't travel in the left lane, and they had, and the speed limit was between 45 and 50. Yeah, they, they were wanting to travel in the right two lanes so people could go around. Well, supposedly that's the laws of the highway. Oh, well, yeah. Un, unwritten laws of the highway, I guess. There's a fast lane and a slow lane. If you're driving slow, stay out of the fucking fast lane. You're on track. Speaking of fast lane and slow lane, our ride home today from work was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, you see movies. <clears throat> Let's say Godzilla. Or... Um, deep impact. People were just fucking cruising uh, Independence Day. People were just driving through fucking town, like, speeding, and other people were just sitting there. We felt like we were about, like, were we the idiots that's about to die? Because, like, lines of fucking cars, like, boom, boom, sw- swerving in on traffic, and I'm looking around, I'm like, I ain't messing like, baby, am I missing something? He's like, I think we're both missing something. This is fucking idiotic. And I was going above the speed limit. I actually was, like, like, five miles per hour. I was speeding today, which doesn't often happen. But it was fucking crazy. Like, there was no need for it. Just like the dipshit that passed us the other morning, and then we end up at the same stoplight. And three car lengths from each other by the time we turn on our road. Yeah. <laughs> Joke's on you, you fuck stick. Mm. Did you see what happened to that Zion Williamson on Duke? Remember I told you the Duke UNC prices? North Carolina prices were reaching like Super Bowl ticket prices. Oh, yeah. And uh, so they played, and Zion wears Paul George's shoe, who was a Pacer. I don't know. If, I don't think he's. I don't know if he's a Pacer still or not. But he, mm. the shoe like blew apart in the game, oh. and he has a knee knee sprain or something. Ew. Like in the first minute or something, I can't remember. It was real early in the game. So yeah, and Duke, and Duke lost. Too. I don't either. I fucking hate Duke. So why are you telling me this? I just, I just, you know, I'm going through the fucking news. George St. Pierre is officially retired from MMA, MMA today. You didn't see that, did you? Really? Yep. 
No. Officially. He'd been mulling it. And he That's was probably on your website that I don't even have. He is on ESPN, too. I don't watch ESPN. On the website. And I was on Bloody Yellow. You don't have the, uh... <laughs> you don't have the, uh, the Ocho? What the fuck's that? For all you Dodgeball fans, the Ocho. ESPN 8. The Ocho. Remember the movie Dodgeball? No. You remember Dodgeball? Yes, but I don't have it. Is it sunroof open? I can't figure that one out very easily. Oh, raise the roof. Why does it have to have a sun? Because it's the sunlight's rays it's pointing at. And the roof is raised. <laughs> That was a tough one, though. In other news. You're driving that super slow tonight. Mrs. McSud's vagina has been vigorously violated. Seriously? By three gangbangers on Indy's east side. Don't say that. <laughs> well, that's fucking FBI here tomorrow. She was on the corner of... Hoffer and Post selling that fucking tang. Oof. They found a baby dead there today. Is that where that was at? Midhoffer and. Oh, it might have been Midhoffer and Kiso. No, oh, Lord. A it's baby? One, one year old. How? Homicide. This is the shit we deal with in Indy. <sighs> they have since charged the parents. And they were running an Airbnb home. Oh, like what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. There's supposed to be three adults and one child there. And somebody, I, I don't know where the baby was laying, but somebody flagged down an ambulance and... That's fucking ridiculous. The baby was dead, so one year old. It's a one-year-old yeah, homicide. And it, we're almost desensitized to this because it's like, this is every year in Indy now. Mm-hmm. Like, we matched the uh, murder record total two years straight. Every day, someone's getting shot. Mm. My brothers don't know how to use their fists. They're afraid to get their ass whipped, so they pull out a gun. Yesterday, somebody got shot and died at a church parking lot. Where was God? <laughs> Jesus did not save in that situation. Seriously? I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, where's your God at now? In a church. What? Jesus Christ, that's a horrible thing to happen. You're ridiculous. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. If they would have prayed a little harder, they would be alive today. If they would have put in the fucking, the offering bowl. I know what happened. They fucking took from the offering bowl. Jesus come down as a I'm fucking... Hungry. As a fucking <clears throat> armed assailant. <clears throat> you stole money from my church, bitch. Jesus Christ. Oh, you're ridiculous. Remember the name. JC. <clears throat> Seriously? 21st Street Blood. I think you... Don't know how to speak gang stuff, so you shouldn't try. I'm saying JC is a 21st Street blood, you know, because of the blood of Christ. For you Catholics, oh, out I got there. it. Took me a minute. <laughs> this is why we love Miss McStud. Anyways, happy Malt Liquor Thursday. We about to eat dinner. I'm about to jam the fucking booty and bowl. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Thank God. It's been a long week, and we will. Sorry. Well, hey there. Catch you bitches later. Get a handful of your significant other's junk. <laughs>